All right guys, today I will be removing the door panels from this truck. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. This is a 1986 Ford Bronco. It's probably the same as a F-150 as well. It's two screws, real easy to remove. I've already removed the uh, driver's side. Now this is two screws. This piece is a couple more screws, but not, it's not really hard at all. And this is a look at what it looks like. When you take all this off, of course, I have the roll-up motors, not the electric motors. This is also a good time to replace your speakers while you have your door panels off, if you need to. So let's go to this side. What I like to do, okay, this is a roll-up door. I like to put it all the way open, where your window's open. Okay, and this can't move anymore because you gotta turn it to the left. So you have nothing working against you. Just unscrew that. Make sure when you first start unscrewing it to um, you know, put plenty of pressure because these things have not been off of here since 1986. And there you go. We'll put that in the seat right there along with this other crap. And I'll let's screw in here. Anyway, okay. So now you need a Phillips. That was a star head, by the way. Now you need a Phillips. The Phillips goes right in here. Okay, just put plenty of pressure down. I wouldn't recommend putting PB Blaster on these things. I mean, if you have to, you have to, but if you're going to redo your door panels, um, you might not want to do that. If you're buying new door panels, go ahead. What's the big deal? Because I'm trying to, go, um, you know, we're going to try to get uh, paint to stick to these, so I don't want to get any grease on them or any kind of, any kind of armor all or nothing. So, got that out. All right, now we're pretty loose. So what we're gonna do now is kind of pull up and out. Be real easy. See the top has got a lip. Goes down in the where the window's at. And then just kind of go around it and uh, work your way. Once you think you got all of them off, you gotta get the door handle through. Just like that. And the rubber did come off there. Uh, but I can easily put it back on. I'm gonna pull it over here. There it is. Door panel number two. That was so simple. Put my little rubber back in there. Didn't really plan on that happening, but I'm working with one hand here. So, starting this YouTube channel thing. Might want to invest in like a stand or something. That's it. And we come around back to this side. And you gotta get the bottom panel off. Look at this. The original little paper from the factory. That's really neat. Alright, so take your Phillips bottom. You got one, two, three, four, five. You got five of those. Just take plenty of pressure. Turn to the left. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Ready? And this is pretty much it. A lot of you probably stopped watching the video by now, but I'm gonna just go ahead and take it all off for the camera. <laughs> so there's this last one here. And these come out pretty easily, uh, which this Bronco's in really good shape. Not really sure. You know, sometimes bolts are hard to get out. It was hard to get some bolts out of the rear uh, uh, the metal panel on the rear back window. So. And this you can kind of lift it up and it'll come right out of the uh, plastic piece will stay in, but it's got little grooves. I'll show you guys. See on these bottom panels, 
you have little grooves that those things slide in so you can actually just kind of push it down and pull it right out that's basically your door panel remover for probably 19 I know in 1986 because that's what I have but probably from 1980 to 1986 and then not much of a difference um, I know the panels changed so there's probably a couple little things that are different that was super easy it doesn't take maybe a couple minutes all you need is two tools and uh, now they're ready to be redone